Hi, and welcome to this PowerShell quick tip video. This one is actually going to be a really quick tip. This is more on using the PowerShell terminal. So this won't be something that you, you're going to use in the PowerShell ISC or Visual Studio. But if you're someone that uses the console or terminal a lot, this will be an amazing tip that might save you quite a bit of time. So let's go ahead, let's open up. And this works in PowerShell uh, 5.1 and also in PowerShell 7, anything like that. So let's go ahead, let's just open up our PowerShell um, 5.1 here. And let's go ahead, let's open up our PowerShell uh, 7 as well. Uh, we're just going to show you both at the same time. So this is going to be our PowerShell 5.1. So as we already know, we can easily do tab completion. Um, but this could be, if you don't really know the command, it could take you a while to get to. So let's say we wanted to get to 80 user. It would take quite a while if we just do the tab complete. Unless, of course, if we knew for sure it was just that, it goes really fast. But what if I told you there was an option if you just did get dash AD and then hold down control and hit the space bar, you actually get a list of all the possible options. Let me actually just zoom in here so you guys can actually see all the different options. And you can actually just move through this window with the arrow keys. Um, so left, right, you can move from the side of the list. And then you can pick the get AD user and then it's just there. So you actually have a lot more flexibility. And even if you enter something very ambiguous, like get dash and then do the control space, you can have display all 774 possibilities. And there you have all the different possibilities. And I hit enter right after there again by accident. Um, but it is a very, very good tool. So it's very similar to like get command. If you would do a get command with like a get star, you would get all of this, these as well. But this is just a very useful if you're just not sure you're like, I think that the command was something along these lines. You can simply go like this and see all the different possibilities. Like I said, this is PowerShell 5.1. It is the exact same thing if you do it on PowerShell 7. So if we just zoom back in on here, you will see that it is the exact same here. So once you select it, you would just be able to then um, easily go ahead and do anything that you needed to do with your command lit. So it's just a very different way to use, instead of tab completion, use the control space completion. And you just get a nice big list of all the different commandlets uh, that start with what you've already written there. So it's kind of like doing a get ad star, get command, um, but you have that very nice ability to just manipulate your way through the different commands with the arrow keys and then hit enter to pick the command that you want to run. Like I said, this only really applies to the PowerShell terminal or console, um, because of course, when you have Visual Studio Code, if we just do a get dash ad, we already get that ability. Um, but it's really nice to actually get that this ability in a console or terminal, because that is often a main, a big reason why some people don't like to use the terminal or console. So that is today's PowerShell quick tip. I hope you guys liked this tip. Please let me know down in the comment section down below what other tips you guys would like to see or what else you guys would like to see just in general in these videos. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.